as I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to The Smuggler in the Blind, Episode 2. A couple of you aren't happy that there's a Smuggler in the Blind, but only because, of course, if I were to imaginally choose what he says, he could be funny every now and then. My, I mean, my Smuggler could be funny. I mean, he could make, he could make you know, some of the choices I make could be funny. They might not always, They can't always be funny. Come on now. They can't. Some of them can be funny, but not all of them. You know, come on now. And, of course, um... What was I going to say? Going back to what I said earlier, yeah, smuggling can be unpredictable, so... You know. But anyway, we need to speak to Vidu as we have now got the data from the Separatists. He left a big mess in my warehouse. Cyrena says it was Bracco's fault, but now I've got a serious morale problem. Oh, I keep forgetting that I, every time... When I, I did, kept doing this sort of trooper one, I kept forgetting that it is, is in the blind. Send a cleanup crew to scrape Bracco off the floor, and let's move on. My people have better things to do than scrub up fried morons. That stuff is bad for business. Ah. I hope you didn't come back from Man at Point empty-handed, Captain. Yes, I did, actually. Just trolling ya. You did good, Captain. Corso found us a terrific little slicer kit, so we're ready to decrypt that data. We'll know where to find Skavik soon, but until then, I've got a special job that only you can do. Not if you had all the credits in the galaxy. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't life and death. I need you to keep Rogan the Butcher off our backs. Cyrena stalled him earlier, but it's not enough. We need to distract Rogan by giving him something he really wants. A canister of some special chemicals from a nearby village. The big boom run? Are you kidding, boss? I can see it making Rogan's day, but it's blasted risky. Can't be any worse than a hut's kitchen. Have you been you in a hut's kitchen? Folks lose their arms and legs on this job. Heads, too. Ah, survive. There's a wounded scientist with a chemical that can supercharge artillery cannons and makes them do more damage. But it's less stable than a drunk savrip on a speeder bike. Handle it wrong, and suddenly you're little chunks of ex-captain. Sure, it's tricky, but you've got the skill to get it here. Did I mention this run pays unbelievably well? It's worth a shot. Fantastic. I won't even haggle down on your feet. That's how much I respect you. Ah. Trimbo is the scientist's name. Got a place in Oradam Village. I'll let him know you're coming. See me before you make that run, Captain. We should talk. I thought it was going to be some sort of conversation there when Corso moved away. I thought it was going to be all like, well, something's going on with Corso, but no, guess not. Um, I mean, even if I do lose, a, if I do lose a limb, just get a cybernetic one. You know, I need to be level ten to use that stim. Damn. Damn it to hell. Corso, where are you? I know what you're going to do. Um, you're going to give me something. I know that for a fact because I've done this about four times. This beginning bit. I've not done the class four times. This beginning bit at least four or five times. Captain, the big boom run isn't a stroll on the beach. You'll need an edge to make it back alive. This here is a Sorosub SSK Heavy Blaster. It's cut for a quick draw and got a hair trigger. I call it flashy. I see. Flashy can bullseye Saver between the eyes five times before the critter even knows it's dead. Here, take it. I thank you. The lighting in this room is very, very weird. If I take this, what'll you use in a fight? I can take care of business just fine with Huey here. Huey! Best of luck, Captain. Don't get killed, all right? I mean, I'll try my best, but it's probably gonna happen. I mean, I haven't died yet. Did I just get pushed back in? I was I was looking away for like a second. It just looked like I got pushed back in. Um, right, let's put this. Oh, I need to be level seven to put that in. Great, thanks. Give me a weapon I can't exactly use yet. Well, it's better than what I've got. So, why the hell not? Let's just sell. The oh, I need to go here anyway. Let me, let me do this. Lovely. And I'll take that again. I can't do jack. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say I can't do jack S. Or anything. What is the point of these modification stations anyway? They do nothing. I don't even need them. When well, you can just do it like this anyway. Put that in. Thank you. And oh, I need to be level eight. All right then. But what I can do definitely is if I go to color crystals. Uh, what color crystals should we go for? Should we go for blue? I think we'll go for blue. I'll take that. Thank you very much because I've already got that in my collection. And I can use that. But I need to be level ten anyway. Ah, so. How about that Pokemon Go, eh? Oh my god, you would not believe how much I've been playing Pokemon Go. I must have spent about three, four hours just playing it today around my town. And then yesterday again, about three hours again, just playing it. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, that game. I've caught 50 Pokemon, 50 unique Pokemon so far, out of 150. I'm doing well so far. I caught a Dratini today. I'm excited. Uh, I could talk about Pokemon Go all the time, but we're here to play Swotor, not Pokemon Go. But if you're enjoying Pokemon Go, good for you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. So much. Speak to Lunda. I'm going to Lundun tomorrow. You must be here for my husband. I told Master Vidu he's gone out fishing. Would you like a sweet flat cake instead? It's fresh. Love one. Yeah, I could eat. You got any bantha milk to wash it down with? Of course. Help yourself, dearie. Oh, thank you. If you don't feel like waiting for Trimbo, the walk out to him is lovely. The beach is so relaxing. Trimbo's at his fishing camp. He'll be thrilled to have some company. And now, excuse me, dearie, these rhodium peppers won't cook themselves. So Lynn just doesn't seem right about her right now. Not entirely sure what. Always nice to see you, dearie. Ah. Shoo, I'm cooking. Now you, I'm cooking. That sounds very weird the way she just said that. Uh, I know somebody posted the comments saying, "Oh, you know, I'm just exhausted listening to you, Charlie, because you're so hyperactive." Yeah, well, that's what I'm like. I am, you know, it's very exhausting just being me. I mean, that's probably why I have fatigue all the time. Oh my word. Where am I going anyway? I'm going that way. I don't know, I just try to see the fun side of life sometimes. Except when I'm at work and I'm just sort of like, I want to die. I want to die when I'm at work. Just just going to point that out. But, um, yeah, what can you do? Hi! You're going to try and kill me now? Well, not going to happen. <laughs> you died. You died too. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Well then. Smackdown, eh? Uh, can I sort of sneak around? Oh! It's Bounty Hunter Contract Week up today! Ah! I should probably do some Bounty Contract stuff. I've still got achievements I need to get! I still do, but I probably won't do them anytime soon. Because I'm going to London. Not to buy a heat magazine, but to go to London. Remember that advert? Well, you would if you lived in the UK. If you live in the US, you probably have never heard that advert. Um, where's my health regen? Where's my... I was going to say, where's my regen ability gone? And I normally have my regen ability here anyway, so I don't know why I put that there. There we go. We're good. Nope, can't bother to kill you. Just running now. I'm running. Sorry. Nope. Sorry. I'm going to run away because I can't be bothered. Well, am I going the right way anyway? Sort of? I guess I am. Oh, yeah, it's because it's on the coast, isn't it? And we are on the coast. Lovely, then. Hello. My wife said you're on a fishing trip. Hello. Oh, hi. 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 Don't, don't stand there. That spot is reserved exclusively for my Gundark friends. You're clearly not a Gundark. Your ears are too small. Maybe I'm a Listen, Gundark in disguise. Do you smell that? There's a pot of Alderanian stew bubbling. But how could I smell it all the way on Ord Mantel? I don't know. It might be all over me. Your wife was cooking. I'm betting you're completely insane. Insane? What? How, how dare you? Oh. Now I'm smelling Bakuran cloudberries. By the stars, those those would taste awful in a Alderanian stew. Hmm, I do recall a man saying to expect a stranger coming for my chemicals. You seem pretty strange. Was he talking about you? You've inhaled a lot of chemicals, haven't you? Did my wife tell you that? She's been dead 20 years now. Don't listen to her. Um... People haven't had much luck getting my chemicals. Know why? Those Ugnaught assassins in the woods attack everyone who visits me. Just hand that thing over, Captain Crazy. How dare you? I'm a colonel. <gasps> I'm so what sorry. What you really need is a precision teleporter. But a former assistant crashed my prototype into the sun. Oh, okay. Good luck, my friend. If you should explode, please feel free to come back and tell me all about it. Everyone else has. Yeah, that just goes to show you're kind of tripping. But I'll take that anyway. Deliver, deliver, deliver the chemicals to Vidu. Will do. All right. Is there going to be any confrontation in here? Anyone? No. I've actually got to go see Vidu. All right. What? Oh. oh, I thought that was a codex entry there. All right then, Vidu. I hope you're alive and well because. Easy does it. I've got your storage I've unit. got a storage unit here to stabilize the canister so it doesn't blow. There we go. Boom! 
Oh. That's something you'll want to handle real careful like. Don't worry. This canister's safer than a senator's daughter in a room full of Jedi. Getting Trimbo's chemicals saved our necks, Captain. Rogan will be too busy selling them to think about the blasters. How about a little something extra for all my hard work? Sure. Why not? I like you, kid. I really do. Buy yourself something fancy to kill Skavik with. Ah, I will I've got good news and great news, Captain. We cracked the Separatist computer files and found Skavik. Vidu, you promised you wouldn't get so excited. It isn't good for your heart. Sorry, sweetheart, but this is going to be great! Skavik won't even see us coming! Ha! Does Skavik still have my starship? Your ship and the blasters. Great, huh? We'll get back everything he stole all at once. Skavik is taking the blasters to the Separatist base. Those wackos built their headquarters inside an old volcano. Crazy, huh? Not really. What do you expect from foaming at the mouth murderers? I wish that volcano would blow its top. Um... Skavik's delivering the blasters to a psycho named Darig at the base. You need to get there first. When Skavik shows up, you can ambush him, grab your ship, and fly back here. Easy, huh? You do realize, of course, though, if that volcano blows up, there's probably going to be volcanic ash um, and the smoke plume thing that rolls down the mountain. Yeah, that's probably going to hit here, and we're probably all going to die. So, probably shouldn't wish for that, Corso. You're about to see a real live hero in action. Make that two heroes. I'm not sending you alone. Oh? Take Corso with you, Captain. The kid knows more about blasters and vibroblades than anybody I've ever met. I owe Skavik payback for taking Torchy. That was lower than low. Do you know, every time he says Torchy, I keep thinking of Torchic from Pokemon. I've never had a sidekick before. Yeah? Me neither. Then it's a deal. You two head for the Separatist base, kill Darig, and ambush Skavik when he shows up. I've got a bottle of Chandralin brandy to open when you get back. Consider me signed on. I'd wish you two good luck, but I don't want to jinx anything. Just come back in one piece. Just wish me mediocre luck then. Yeah? You want to do that? Should we give Corso a different customization or should we just leave him yeah, the way he is? You. Um... I think we'll just leave Corso the way he is because of course I didn't like to change the companions that like like Ken Vow in my assistant quiz to play through. You know, he's like different colours and you know, he's kind of like... It's just his colours that look different. With like Corso rig, like humanoid creatures, you know, their whole face is changing. You know, Ken Vow's face is staying the same so... You know, I'll, I'll just keep it as it. Can I give you this? Can I give you some small influence gain? Why the hell not? Thank you. Enjoy. 64 influence out of however many thousand. Do I want Corso as a healer? Don't know. I think I probably Better. will. Better. Oh, you, you healed me. Oh, thanks. What should I also become as well come this one? Because, of course, this is my first one. I personally think I want to be a gunslinger. But perhaps I'll be a scoundrel. Um, might leave that for you guys to decide. I'm going to put a poll in the description. Because of course this is my first one. My first main smuggler I should say. I'm going to put in the poll what you think I should be. And then the by the next episode I will um, would have chosen what I'll be. So, you know, do posts. Uh, and poll vote in the poll in the description on what you would like me to be. And I will be that. Whoever gets the most votes. No doubt I'll get people complaining on one side, be like, No! This place. Where'd the Seps get the money to build something like this? I don't know. Killing? Bounties? Stealing? Selling? Simple? Seriously. Yeah, but no doubt there's going to be people who's going to be all, No! You went for the wrong side! Well, there's no right or wrong side, people. You know that, right? And even so, I could just always make a new one and be the opposite. You just won't see me play it. So, I, all I'd say is that if you're going to vote, vote for the one that would best suit my playstyle. So I'm a terrible player, so vote for the one that would best suit me. Probably, the, probably I'm probably going to be wrong. Probably it's going to be Scoundrel. Uh, so I can heal myself up every now and then. But, nah, I've got a healer. Of course, it will heal me up. Lovely. Um, which way am I going? I am going this way. Alright, uh, so yeah, vote for the one which would be best for my playstyle. Oh, good. You enjoy killing them. I'll just, uh, walk on by. Oh, hi. Hello. Where'd you come from? I literally didn't see you. You were blended into the environment very well. What did you say? How do I fix you? Oh, oh yeah, you're healing me, aren't you? I, I, I forget that. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, they're dead. they died quickly then. Droid! Might as well kill you too. Just cuz. Elevator, elevator! Don't leave without me! Don't leave without me! Oh, you just... Oh, <laughs> you just about made it, man. Well done. I would have laughed if you'd, if you'd missed. I really, I really would have. Oh, is there a... 
Yeah, I'll take that. I will sell all that. I'll sell that as well. Should I get some med packs? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get some med packs. Just, just, just for, you know, reasons. I can also put you in here as well. Thank you very much. Well, I can probably get some better enhancements soon. But there we go. How many crystals do I have? 19. Yeah. I'll tell you what I haven't done. I haven't checked for new abilities. I'll kill you. Uh, anything new? Ooh, there is. Quick shot. Uh, last target for 161 to 189 weapon damage. Alright, I'll take that if you don't mind me. Do I have any titles? Uh, I have Captain Harlow. I think you're alright. Awesome. I want to go for the, um, the wealthy. Yes, because Captain Harlow is not wealthy. But he likes to think he is. Oh, hi. Hello. How you doing? Dead? Ah, oh, I see. Well, maybe they'll find a cure for that one day. Do you know, I've realized it's amazing how much I do joke about death. You know, it's a very touchy subject. You know, here I am just killing people being like, alright, enjoy death. But imagine if this game was real. Imagine if I was killing real people. Think of all the families I would have devastated. Think about it. All the, all the people I've killed in Swotor. All the families I would have devastated. That would be insane. Uh oh. Oh god. Um, yeah, heal me like mad, please, Corso, because I've got two pe two sets of groups trying to kill me here. Um, here's a thought. I doubt it. Oh, can I jump? Can I jump down there? I doubt it. I don't even know where that goes. I don't know if that goes the way I need to go or not. I need to look at the map properly in a second. Since I've killed you. Alright, let's pick this up. So that will, that will take me... If I were to jump down there, where would that take me? Oh, no. Don't want to jump down there. That takes me back to the beginning. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Oh, my God. i got so far to go yet. Why does it take so long for the smuggler? This is why I don't like Ord Mantel. Korriban I can tolerate, but Ord Mantel, you are seriously traveling for so long just to try and get to the end. It's like, this is at the very, very end for the smuggler as well. It's like, that's so unfair. For the trooper, it's like, there. For the smuggler, I've got to go a little bit further. Yes, I guess so, thanks. Oh, what I should definitely have up as well, which I don't have up. Uh, character perks, character perks. Can I afford any of this from completing war zones, enemies, space missions, class missions? Can I afford that? Yeah, I can afford it for the first one. Uh, and then after that, I can afford the second one as well. Why the hell not? I don't, I'm not going to use those cartel coins on anything. No doubt some of you are going to be all like, You've wasted cartel coins! Yeah, you don't know the half of it. I could do the third one too, just just, just because. because I want to try and get to level 10 before I leave Ward Mantel, but it's probably not going to happen. But never mind, eh? Kill you! They'll kick you in the shins, and then blind you. What a way to go out dying. Kicked in the shins, then blinded, and then shot at. What a way to die. Oh, bonus mission. Lovely. Level 9. Wait, who did I kill to get level 9? He was still alive when I got to level 9. That was weird. Do I have any new abilities? I do, apparently. Escape. Ah. I can get out of stuff with this. Thank you very much. Alright. Let's get rid of you. I don't need you. And I got two, no, three more arms dealers to kill. There's one. No, I was... I was trying to get into cover, but that didn't happen. Do you want to go over there? No? You don't want to go over there? Alright. No! What the hell? How did you do that? It just sort of, I don't know, whip it over. Like, how the hell did you do that to me? Oh, there's one more I need to kill. Oh, no, you're just, just you, Corso. Were you shooting at me, Corso? Are you, are you secretly trying to kill me? <sighs> but you would never secretly try to kill me, would you, Corso? Would you? Would you? Nah. Of course, so loves me. Kick you in the balls, and I'll take the bonus mission. Thank you very much. Lovely. Jump up here. Avoid these enemies because I don't need them now. And howdy diddly. You worthless criminal vermin! How dare you invade my fortress and murder my courageous brothers in arms? Well, I'm known for my daring. <laughs> now you'll just be known as the idiot who came all the way here to die. You are guilty of crimes against the oppressed people of Ord Mantell. The sentence is death. 
Lovely. Memorize our faces well, you criminal filth, for we are your righteous executioners. Do you have any last words, degenerate swine? Um. There's no reason we can't cut a deal here. I don't negotiate with corrupt dogs. I exterminate them. Let justice be served. They weren't my last words. I was just saying, no. All right, I don't get last words. Oh well. Also, I love how you say, remember our faces well. Well, if I'm dead, why am I going to remember them? What's the point in me remembering? I'm going to be dead. But we're clearly speaking to you. Clearly. Oh, something blue. What's this? Uh, assassin droid hand, eh? Where is it? Uh, there. Here you go, Corso. Enjoy. Thank you. You're most welcome. I surrender. I surrender. Please. I don't want to die. I know why you're here, and you're wasting your time. I'm here for Skavik and my starship. Where are they? Skavik is long gone. He left here hours ago. Derek was stupid to fight you. He got everyone killed when he should have just told you the truth. Skavik showed up a few hours ago to deliver the guns, but it was all a trick. He pretended to be on our side so he could steal some rusty antique droid from Derek. Served you right for trusting Skavik. Derek was furious. He thought Skavik was committed to our cause. That droid was ancient. It's practically useless. But Skavik grabbed it like some big treasure and blasted his way out. He left in your ship. I don't know where he went, but I can guess who does. Skavik has a girl at Fort Garnick named Cyrena. Da da da! Well, forgive me if I don't take your word for it. It's true! Derek talked to her on the Hollow all the time with messages for Skavik. She was our main contact. It was Cyrena who warned us you were coming. If you want to find out where Skavik went, Cyrena's the one who knows. Please, let me go. I have a family back on the mainland. Please. Separatists come kill family. my family, and I promised myself I'd bury every last one of you. I, I've only been here a few months. I didn't kill anyone's family. I only ever followed orders. Then I order you to die. Are you sure about this, Corso? The man seems sincere. Sincerity has nothing to do with it. Every one of these motherless scum deserves death. I can't just let him go home and pretend like nothing ever happened. Uh, your choice. Would your family want you executing people? Oh, okay. My family were farmers, not soldiers. Please, I swear to you, I'll never serve a man like Derek again. I'll just go home and take care of my family. Get out of here before I change my mind. Thank you. Come on, Captain. We need to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Sirena. Well then. I honestly, did, I honestly thought it was going to be dark side, but I guess I went for the light side one. Uh, are we going this way? Ah, uh, we can go this way. It leads the same way anyway. Oh, Sirena. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, well. Vidu! Vidu! Sirena is... Sirena is 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 there. is is, is 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 evil. So, so she's she's she's. I, I can't believe you fried Vito, sweetheart. So what if he called you talking oh. to separatists? He threatened to turn me into Rogan the Butcher. I had to kill him. Besides, now we can finally be together. Why does everyone call you yeah. sweetheart as well? And the thing is, my cargo hold is full, and you know, I'm busy with work. I'll call you sometime, though. I promise. What are you talking about? You promised to get me out of here. I've done everything for you, Skavik. You did it for the money. Same as me. The only difference is, you're not actually getting paid. I'll see you around, darling. Ha <laughs> ha! Captain, I... I didn't see you come in. It's wonderful you're still alive. How long have you been back? Lady, I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. I guess you heard all that, huh? Look, I know things that can help you. Skavik used me just like he did everyone else. That man could turn the armor off a Mandalorian. Rogan the Butcher's bounty hunters are on their way right now. We don't want to be here when they arrive. Skavik took your ship and the guns to Coruscant. If you go now, he won't know you're coming for him. What kind of scam is Skavik pulling on Coruscant? He wouldn't tell me. It's something big, though. The Separatists are retreating from this island, thanks to you. And the Republic just reopened the shuttle port. Ah, lovely. I'll give you a shuttle pass to Coruscant if you let me disappear. Do we have a deal? Could just kill you and take your shuttle pass, but let's see what the one, two, or three. What should I go with? One... Let's go with three. I'll take that shuttle pass off your corpse. Ha <laughs> ha!
Oh, okay. I thought we were actually going to fight her. That was cold-blooded, Captain. Where I come from, real men don't shoot ladies. You were going to kill a guy who had a family. I didn't want to warn Skavik about us. I see the percentage in that. But killing her was a poor way to keep her quiet. Poor old Vito. I wish she could hear what we did. Would have put a smile on his face. It's not healthy for us to stick around, Captain. I believe what Sirena said about bounty hunters coming. We don't know how long Skavik will stay on Coruscant either. Let's hop a shuttle and catch him while we can. I'm not one for causes, but I'm on board for that one. Vito left me some stuff. I expect he'd want me to share it with you. Let's head for the shuttle board. We'll be off this planet before you know it. And I'm sorry, but she killed Vito. Hello? Are you an idiot, Corso? Hello? Level 10, though. <laughs> and I'll take that as well. Right then. So now, like I said, go in the description. Vote if I should be a gunslinger or a scoundrel. And we'll see what I become and what you vote for for the next episode next Tuesday. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.